Roman shades. They're sophisticated, classy, and a little on the pricey side. But if you have a sewing machine, you can make your own gorgeous version for a fraction of the price. Done in just a couple hours, these DIY Roman shades are a simple way to update your windows. Start by cutting your fabric at least 7 inches longer than the length you'd like your shade to be. I tend to cut my fabric even longer than that just to be safe, but 7 extra inches is the minimum you'll need to mount the shade and sew the dowel pockets. Cut the width of the fabric 1 inch larger than the width of your window. This is to account for hemming the sides. I also added black outlining to my shade, which I cut to be the same length as the fabric, but 1 inch shorter in width. This is because the black outlining isn't going to unravel and therefore doesn't need to be hemmed on the sides. Then fold each side over half an inch and sew it in place. This prevents the fabric from unraveling while simultaneously attaching the liner to the primary fabric. Next, make the dowel pockets. To determine where each pocket is placed, take the total length of the fabric, subtract 3 inches for mounting, and divide by 4. The first pocket will be at the very bottom of the shade, and each pocket afterward will be that number of inches up. To make the first pocket, fold the bottom of the fabric up at least half an inch. Since I knew I cut my fabric long, I made my first pocket a little larger just to be safe. Pin and sew in place. To make the other three pockets, fold the shade over, right sides together, at each pocket location. Pin in place and sew a seam at least a half inch away from the fold. If you're using a lining, be sure the inside fabric is fully aligned with the liner, otherwise the pocket may be too small. I like to insert one of the dowel rods before sewing just to make sure everything fits. Once all four dowel pockets were made, I put the dowel rods in place. I used a miter saw to cut them to the proper length, but a hand saw could also do the trick. Then hand sew the small plastic rings to the dowel pockets. Each pocket gets two rings, one on each side, a couple inches in from the edges. Then I built the mounting board. This is simply a 1x2 cut to the width of my window. I added a 1.5 inch angle bracket and small screw eye to each end. I was mounting the shade on the sides of my window frame, so the angle brackets were mounted accordingly. You can mount them on the back of the board if that makes more sense for your project. The screw eyes I used were some I had around and were super small. I'd consider using bigger ones if you've got them. Then I stapled the fabric to the top of the mounting board using a staple gun. Finally, all that was left was adding the nylon string that operates the shade. There are two strings here. The first one goes through every single ring, including the screw eye at top, and is tied in place on the right side of the shade. It's left loose on the left side to ultimately operate the shade. The second string only goes through the rings on the left side. It goes up the left side, goes through the screw eye on top, then comes back down. One end is tied in place while the other is left free to work the shade. Once the shade was mounted, it was done. I love how it looks, and honestly, I'm a little obsessed with the fabric I chose. It fits the room perfectly. If you like it too, or found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And if you want more information, check out the full blog post linked in the description below. Thanks, and don't forget to hit subscribe.